So you don't like your posture. Looks kind of funny with your head craning out. It's sometimes called a nerd neck. I'm going to show you two exercises. I can't promise that they work quickly. Sometimes it needs a lot of work, but rest assured it's going to get better each day. I'm Roland Liebschepracht, and first I'm going to explain how you got into this situation. A lot of people slouch when they sit, and that makes this section rounder. It's this position. And if you sit like this, you, of course, look downwards, but you want to look straight ahead since this is where your TV is. So you raise your head, and before you know it, you're in this position here. A rounded back and a nerd neck to compensate for that. But how can we avoid that? We have to straighten our rounded backs. What has become shortened here needs to be lengthened, and we want to straighten out this line. Not really straight, because your spine is not as straight as a rail. It's shaped like a letter S, and that makes biological sense. It's meant to absorb shocks. So we want to get it straighter. Not absolutely straight, but until it's in the right shape. As I just told you, the shortened and contracted neck muscles are the cause, and it's very difficult to reverse that and go back to a normal posture. And so first, we have to lengthen them again, normalize them, and you can make the muscles and fascia longer by pulling on them. Please sit with a completely straight back and place your hands on the back of your head with your fingers. Not like this. That's a common mistake, grabbing your head like this. Don't do that. It's not good leverage here, and it's harder to control the right level of force. Grab higher up on the back of your head so that your fingertips touch the upper part of your skull. And now, this is important, your back must oh. remain absolutely oh. straight, and then you pull your head forward. No, now you're pulling your upper body forward. That's right. Pull your head forward. Exactly, but keep your back straight. Straight. Put some effort in it to stay straight here. My back is straight, Roland. Now you're looking good, and you could feel the stretch, right? Yes. Stay straight. Great. Did you notice? Yes. Yes, I felt it. Remain absolutely straight and continue to pull forward. And now everything that is too short, that keeps you in this fixed nerd neck position, is being pulled long. And you can't do this exercise often enough. Simply pull forward, and the longer you do that, the more intensive the stretching pain is. But remember, stay in a zone where the pain is still, even if just bearable. Keep your back straight. I'm getting on your nerves a bit. Totally, totally. It's the only way. Straight back. Otherwise, you'd lose the stretch in the back. And the back is too long anyway, with respect to muscles and fascia and ligaments. That's why the back has to remain straight, and you have to work here on your neck. Do that for two, two and a half minutes. You can do this exercise two or three times a day, no problem, since you'll be working on your fixed nerd neck here. And now I'm going to show you the passive variant of this exercise. It's great because you don't have to work very hard for it. Just use our neck hero or something of similar shape, maybe a couple of books you can arrange in a shape like this. At any rate, René, please place the lower edge of your skull on it. The bottom line of my skull is this, right? Right. Okay. Place it on the hero and then allow your head yes. to sink into it comfortably. Now you could read, watch TV, talk, listen to music, whatever you want. And in addition to the stretching, even more so than with the pulling of your head, you have the effect that this neck hero, by the way, you can find information on it up there, is shaped in such a way it applies pressure along the entire lower edge of your skull. And that, again, has the effect, similar to the osteopressure our therapists, trained by us, employ, that muscles are relaxed and simultaneously stretched. That is the passive variant, great for doing it in the evenings. And now we transfer the relaxation we've achieved into realigning your spine, in particular, your cervical spine. So please lie on your back on a firm surface, not hard, 
but firm. Take a carpet or a mat. And now, René, just as you did before in the exercise, reach. Don't lift your head. Ah. Slightly underneath your head. Mm. And now, your job is to help you lowering your head by pulling your chin in. But without lifting your head, your head is still touching the mat. But if you pivot your head inward with the help of your hands so that your chin is tucked in towards your throat, that means your cervical spine gets closer to the floor and that means that this exaggerated forward bend is being straightened out. And that's our goal. And you could do that as often as you like. And if your mattress is firm enough, you can even straighten out your spine while you're falling asleep lying on your back, something I highly recommend. And so you give your body this impulse permanently. Please remember, these postures have developed over years, decades even. And so you won't be able to reverse that in just weeks. But with each passing day, as I promised you earlier, you'll get a little straighter. The more you do this exercise, the faster the reversal process.